All right, test, test, go. All right, we have a broken Puffco. Symptom is the Puffco plugs in, lights up, but doesn't actually take a charge. Um, full disclosure, I've already taken this thing apart one time. Um, so I know what I'm doing. Let me get this open. First thing you gotta do is pull this plastic cover piece off. Um, once you got that off, just make sure this is in focus. All right, that should be good. Um, there's a little bit of adhesive on there, so you kind of have to pry it off the first time. It doesn't come off that easily uh, under normal circumstances. And then this whole silicone boot thing uh, comes off. So you just sort of push it out. And don't worry, this piece is glued in place. So you just kind of peel it off. And that comes off. And then you're going to need security bits. Um, I believe they're Torx. Uh, don't know the number, but I've got the set here. Wrong size. I really don't get why some companies use security bits. Like Puffco, so far as I know, has been great with their warranties. They just give people a new equipment if the shit breaks, so... I really don't get why they're trying to keep people out of these little machines. Because there's really nothing special to them, and we'll see in just a sec once we get in here. screw no one two three yeah I think it was was it the base first or the top first I can't remember oh yeah so that's glued on and then once that piece is off, you should just be able to open it. Um, that little piece that fell off came from in here. That just holds the USB port stabilized. So, I'm just gonna slide all these out with the little haptic motor thing. You can use your screwdriver, but you should just be able to pinch and pull that out. So. That's all of the parts to your Puffco. And that's the disassembly. Really not a lot to it. Um, so just for ease of working on it, I'm just gonna flip this back and then this little black part, pull it forwards and that'll unlock the little ribbon cable there so you can take the button off. Um, now, there's a few ways to go about trying to fix this. I think it's whatever the charge circuit is for the charge controller. So I don't know if that's actually going to be on this board here, this board here, uh, or if that's on this board here. So um, I had some success soldering uh <laughs> leads of a power supply directly to here plugging it into the wall and charging the battery that way so i'm going to try doing that again uh, and then if that fails or if that can't get this back up to a working voltage that it can maintain uh, says right here 7.4 volts we're just going to replace this battery pack and the input leads here 
with something that's got a little bit more oomph, like maybe some 18650s and a little housing. And uh, we'll upgrade this Puffco if we can't get it working. So see where we go. That's how to take apart your Puffco.